Hey, this is Special Ed. You listen to Two in the Stink podcast. Yay! Yay! I like three in my stink. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Two in the Stink. Uh, it's your boy, Rob and Jim. It's uh, your boys, I should say. Not your boy. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm trans now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm non-binary. What does that have to do with uh, being... Oh. I'm non-binary as in I don't buy anything. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're better than that. Uh, am I? Because that was funny. Non-binary. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'll give you that. Because you're poor. Oh, I get it. Because you have no money. Correct. Yes. Um, Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Dude, it's good to see you. You're back from Atlanta. Skin looks good. Thanks. You do. You look great. Oh, thank you. Have you been off the sauce? Um, I had one day in Atlanta where I slipped up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I you woke- did tell me about it, though, so it wasn't like you're, you You didn't keep it a secret. Yeah, I wasn't trying to keep it a secret. So the yeah. Eagles were playing, right? So I and I went to a bar in, in Atlanta, and I it could have been anything. So there was wind. Yes, yeah, so there was wind. And, <laughs> and well, when it's windy. Well, when it's windy, I have to have seventeen course lights. You know what they say, Atlanta, the windy city. That'll weigh you down, so you don't fly away. <laughs> yeah. So I went to. You're being safe. Yeah. <laughs> I went to. <laughs> you're being safe. Yeah. This is it was safety precautions. <laughs> uh, the Eagles were playing, and I was like, "All right, let me go." Let me Just go. following protocol. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. All right, we're off to a hot start. Um, all right. I no. I was the Eagles were playing, and I was like, uh, "I was like, all right, let me go to a bar." I'm not gonna drink. I'm just gonna watch the game. So I sit down at the bar. It's the dumbest two sentences. I know. I know. So I order. I was like, I still want to support the bar, obviously. So like, I I get it as di- Rob does. Yeah. So I get a diet coke. I'm like, can I get a diet coke? She goes, sure. Here you go. And I was like, what do I owe you, Jameson? What do I owe you? She goes, ah, oh, it's fine. I was like, you sure? She goes, yeah. And I was like, oh, well, I just gotta support the bar. And I was like, uh, can I get a non-alcoholic beer? And she was like, oh, we actually don't have any. And I was like, they're really not giving me any options here. So then I had nine Coors Lights. <laughs> and they only rang me up for five. I was like, this place is cool. You should move to Philly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this place is really cool. <laughs> I was wow, only nine and you only had to pay for five? Yeah, it was That's awesome. That's incredible. Actually. actually, I don't think I had nine. It was probably more like uh, I seven. had five. Seven. I, <laughs> I had exactly what they charged me. Exactly what they charged me. But it tasted, <laughs> it tasted like Some nine. of them tasted free. Wow, this one tastes free. <laughs> if it tastes free, it probably yeah. was. Well, it's because my parlay hit, so I was on like that, oh. that, mm, that, mm, that, mm, that. What I want, you just made seventy dollars. <laughs> you let me get thirty wings. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I had, dude, I had wings for like the first time in like years, like a couple weeks ago. It was like amazing. Yeah. Okay. Are we playing like two truths and a lie? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You have wings in your pocket right now. I'm like, fine, you got me. <laughs> Um, but dude, that bar- <laughs> lie, lie, lie. Yeah. <laughs> the only, but when I was in Atlanta, dude, I and I went to that bar. I believe it or not, in Atlanta, I was the only white guy in that sports what? bar. I know. And what? Th- so the uh, so the Eagles were playing, but the Falcons were also playing a different game. Mm-hmm. So I was I was watching the only game on the smaller screen on mute, and then they were, they were watching the fucking Falcons game. And uh, dude, it's funny. I sat down in the bar. And like I ordered, I I heard her like shoo like seven people away from the bar because she was like, just so you know, it's a fifty dollar minimum per person at the bar. And I heard that, and I was like, huh? Because I like I was like, I'm not drinking fifty dollars worth of Coors Light. So when they walked away, I was like, did I hear that right? And she was like, oh no, you're good. I was talking, I was talking about about them. And I was like, are you? I was like, are you being fucking racist? That fucking rules. Are you being fucking racist? You being racist? I'm so fucking hard yeah. under the table. <laughs> She was well. She was also a, bl- a black bartender. So I mean, I'm like, are you being racist against she, your own she, people? She, listen, she knows her. Well, people. she was like, well, she was no. Don't say that. She was like, uh, she well, knows the, how they are. Well, she was like, <laughs> she knows what no. those types <laughs> no, do. <stop. laughs> so she was like, uh, she was like, well, she was like, well, some people just come sit down and they won't order anything. So we got to set a minimum. And I was like, okay. I was like, all right, uh, I guess that makes sense. Um, but then she was like, but she's like, but you're fine. Go ahead. And then she like rang me up for half my beers. So I was like, this girl is my wife now? That's like really weird. Yeah, it's so crazy. I keep meeting wives. Yeah, I got a wife in Atlanta now? That's so weird. <laughs> I think that's like, that sounds like a Migos lyric. Yeah. I got a wife in Atlanta. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm like, you're supposed to follow up. Um, hang on, give me a second. Uh, I got you, you're the one that wanted to be a rapper? Uh, yeah, you have no... <laughs> I got a lot on my planner. There we uh. go. <laughs> yeah. She took me off on the planet. Uh. <laughs> Suck on my back, homie Santa. 
<laughs> she sucks on my bag. <laughs> Call me Santa. Oh my god! This show is for children. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is two. Yeah, two in the stink. This is about two stinky guys. The fingers are covered in ice cream. It's about you know. Yeah, it it, it could yeah. be that. Totally could be true. I went to uh, the. Um, I was wearing uh, one of our hoodies. You can Whoa! Get on the Patre- you, on the we didn't even talk about your new tat. Oh yeah, I was waiting for you to bring this up. Oh and, wow! Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for you to bring. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was waiting for you to bring this up. Yeah, I knew you were looking for a place to put your Girl Scout badges. <laughs> okay. Right. Nice. Thanks. <laughs> I appreciate that. Rob's like, how can I get stung by more bees? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just look like their favorite thing. <laughs> okay. No, no. It's, it's... Rob was like, you know what I need? I want to look tough. Can you put chicken wire on my arm? <laughs> um, Actually, it's... So the idea is so this is very <laughs> It actually means a lot. My dad loved hexagons. <laughs> my dad was a hexagon once, honestly. <laughs> yeah, my dad loved the UFC. So this is like <laughs> those are hexagons. Oh, uh, whatever. Hexagon, hexagons, hexagons. <laughs> Hector's gone. Hector's gone. We need a new gardener. <laughs> okay, you're really running with that one, huh? <laughs> Um, but yeah, get, 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 yeah, get it all out. Get it all out. Uh-huh. Tell, me, tell me when you're done. Yeah. What the fuck is that? So, <laughs> get. Let me know when you're done. Let me, take your time. Hold on. Let me see the other side. And it's just the same thing. <laughs> He got lazy. He got lazy on this side. No. What are you talking about? No, he broke it up so it looks yeah. cool. Yeah, he's like, no, nah, it'll look cool. He's like, yeah, no, I don't. it'll look cool. He's like, can I fucking stop doing this? This will look cool. You know, it'll look cool if I stop doing it. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. <laughs> so the idea. <laughs> so, All right, I'm ready. Okay. So very unoriginal idea. Uh-huh. I've seen this before online. People will go to different tattoo parlors and they'll get the squares. Okay, I think you mentioned this before. Yeah, I said I, I said I told you I wanted to get this, mm-hmm. and now I have it. Mm-hmm. So the first one I'm getting. So my tattoo artist, he was like, "If we have time," I told him I was like, "I want you to do the first one." So he's gonna do handsome Squidward right there. You're gonna handsome Squidward. I'm handsome Squidward. Yeah, and then the rest is like, yeah. So I was in Kentucky and I had a hundred dollars to burn. So you got to get one in New Zealand. I am. I'm gonna get one in New Zealand. Uh, I want to go to. There's this place in Germany. So this is gonna be like your gay passport. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been. You're hopping everywhere, man. It's your gay right. passport. Okay. Do we name the episode? <laughs> That's funny. Assport. Assport. <laughs> gay passport. Okay, yeah, I get it. Yeah, it's gay. It's a gay tattoo. Yeah, I fucking suck. I'm I like, get it. I have money for tattoos, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sitting receiving jealous. <laughs> I'm like, you can't buy a Sharpie for a fake one, so. <laughs> yeah, motherfuckers like me, we just steal. <laughs> <laughs> you said the funniest thing. We walked into the Wawa. Uh, earlier, <laughs> we walk into the Wawa, and <laughs> Jim points over at the restrooms, right? And he goes, "Wait a minute, this place has a room where you can rest." <laughs> I laughed for Crushed. fifteen minutes. Crushed. I laughed. I laughed from ordering my coffee <laughs> to paying for my coffee and my sandwich. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, Jim. I like, made Rob laugh, so he bought me a sizzly. <laughs> I was like, "Okay, yeah, have right. I earned sausage?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got him a sizzly. You unlocked sausage. <laughs> but my mom. Have you seen this. the video of the dog? The, the kid riding by on the bike, he was like, what's up, Clyde? It's his dog, Clyde. And then it's like, Clyde! <laughs> it like zooms in on Clyde. Like, no. a, like, oh my God, I have to show it to you. I'll never be able to find it. <laughs> That's fine. Show it to me later. Clyde! Clyde! <laughs> Clyde! It's like a video game. It's like a... It's like when you select a character on, on Smash. Oh, okay. What's it's like, Clyde! Oh, gotcha. <laughs> it's like super funny. <laughs> Made me laugh a lot. That's good. Brain rot. <laughs> Good old brain rot. Yeah, my dad f- uh, found out about Hawk Tua. Oh yeah, yeah. He's like that girl. That girl makes talks a lot of sense. No, he goes. Back in my day, we didn't kiss and tell. I'm like, all right. <laughs> Was <Okay>. that <laughs> we didn't kiss? We, and tell. we didn't kiss and tell. Yeah, you know, we didn't hook up and then go fucking talk about it on on a microphone. Yeah, well, she's a fucking millionaire now, so... I was like, yeah, Dad, maybe you should have, and we'd have a fucking big old house. All you gotta do is get that hawk to You do a little hawk to and then all of a sudden, Logan Paul thinks you're cool. (laughs) Well, every... The entire planet was like, 
Wow. That is our leader. Yes. <laughs> I think she could defeat her. Kamala one on one. That wow, her. Kamala People in Zimbabwe were like her. You think you think if Kamala brought Hawk to a girl onto stage like surprised she hasn't already. We've got a walk to of the polls. <laughs> <laughs> not, my, not my, not my joke. Not my joke. No, not my joke. No, really. No, not mine. So saw it on, saw it on Twitter. <laughs> Just want to get that out there. Really, you yeah, saw something mentioning those two? Mm-hmm. That's Isn't crazy. That crazy. Some, well, somebody was like, I thought I was doing an original thought. No, well, somebody was saying if if Hawk Tua girl was around during when Hillary Clinton was running. She'd be like, we have to walk to uh, the polls. Because Hillary Clinton sucked. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. Just chilling in Cedar Rapids. Uh, yeah, she having the, a twisted the, tea. The, the best vine ever. Yeah, yeah. I'm just chilling in Cedar Rapids. <laughs> God. Are you? It's Man. like, no. Who do you think's going to win? I think either... I think he's going to either win in a landslide or she's going to win a close one. You think so? I think, that's, I think those are the two outcomes. I think uh, fucking Trump being on Rogan put the fucking seal on him crushing this one. I don't know, man. That fucking... That, that Taylor, I'm not even a big Trump guy. I'm that not. Taylor Swift endorsement is... I'm who, who, I'm curious to see what that... Because they made a big deal of 14 that. 14-year-olds can't vote, so it doesn't matter. No, it's like... It's like women our age. Okay. They're like... <sighs> for her. Yeah, but like... They, yeah, they but, made a lot of money for football using her. Yeah, but they gotta... So we'll see what happens. But they gotta get on their electric scooter and go all the way to the poles. So right, I'm, and I'm they're 7,000 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> um, I don't. I don't know, dude. <laughs> they I, shouldn't for, even I'm have. Not, I'm not voting. Cause here's the thing. Um, oh, I'm, I'm voting. I'm not because I'm gonna get that big dumb <laughs> fucking sticker. I voted. I don't. I don't like. I think it's. I think it's hilarious that they let me vote. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you ever, I do it, and I'm like. <laughs> do you? Um. Do you? Are you on TikTok at all? Mm-hmm. Do you follow World of T-shirts, Joshua Block? Yeah, he looks just like my one friend. Yeah. Oh my God! So he was—he uh, endorsed Trump recently, which is great because well, yeah. all of his videos are him running around New York calling people the N word. And I saw this. One of the comments was like, "I forgot he could do that." Yeah. <laughs> uh, when he said he was voting for Trump. Mm-hmm. I live paycheck to paycheck. That guy's nuts. He's crazy. I love him. Yeah. Put yeah. the fries in the bag. The, the, the world, Not too many people know about him, but he's The good. world is really fucked up. I want to get him on the podcast. Do you think that'd be well, fun? yeah, you could totally get him. I'd have to pay him probably. Like, we'd have, have to pay him pay money. for drinks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Do you think we could get him on? Yeah. I'm going to hit up. You need to start sending more shots in the dark. The problem is I have to uh, hit up his like uh, his like pimp, Mr. Bass or whatever, that guy he's running around with. Oh, really? Yeah, well, that's the guy he's like... Like they do all the live streams. Is Mister Beast, uh, Mister Beast, but like Republican? He's like Mister Miss. He's like Mister Beast if he date raped. Nice. Yeah. So, well, he has like Mister Beast. He went to like court for like literally murdering somebody with like a drink, and he was found not guilty. And now like people like he'll be walking through New York, and somebody was like, somebody's like murderer, and he's like he's like I was proven innocent. He gets like all up in their face and gets mad at him. I don't. I haven't followed it at all. I have no idea if the guy actually. <laughs> I don't know either. That's how I get out of anything like that might be controversial. I'm I like, don't, I don't know what I'm talking now, about. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know. Don't listen to me. Yeah. Don't listen to me. I've got gay if you, tattoos. If you ever took something from this podcast and tried to be like, these comedians, blah, yeah. blah, blah. Like, like, we it, have teeth on our wall. You can't. Like, you can't. This is not a have. serious podcast. <laughs> this is not news, man. I mean nothing I say. Keep that in mind. This You're merely seeing two characters we're in character yeah. as soon as this fucking microphone cuts on so when you saw this tattoo did you get hungry <laughs> you're trying to come back because it's, it's honeycomb like, it's not, i cried i know i already crushed yeah, it yeah i know it's dead <laughs> <laughs> how can i get stung by more bees <laughs> oh, man. Um, okay passport mm-hmm. i had another one that was pretty good in it's there somewhere good. i stayed at a really nice bed and breakfast in atlanta yeah how was she uh she was really sweet this uh, this girl. Did she, she have that? Did she have that recipe arm? No, she was really, she was really skinny, which was like I was like, hmm. hmm. Her and her husband ran the, the joint, and uh, you could tell. Yeah, like, you're calling it a joint because they're yeah. black. No. <laughs> yeah, it's some black joint. <laughs> uh, her and her husband. So you could tell. <laughs> so it was like a fixer upper, right? They're like, because like my my ceiling was like unfinished and stuff, and I was like, okay, but like everything worked, like the TV worked, the bed was comfy, but you could tell she was like. She's like trying to get like you know people, more people to come in and give like good reviews because like dude the, she had a uh, food in the fridge like a ton of snacks she was like help yourself to anything as long as it doesn't have somebody's name on it you know and I was like wow this place fucking rules dude it was fifty bucks a night to stay there mm-hmm. I didn't pay for breakfast or dinner the entire time I was at 
Mm-hmm. That fucking place because I would wake up. They had she had fresh fruit. I'd have like bananas for breakfast, <laughs> and uh, don't say anything. And I'd have uh, clementines, mm-hmm. and then for dinner I'd have they had fucking um, <laughs> fried chicken. No, no, they was no. having they was having collard greens. No, <laughs> no, red beans are right. No, they had nothing stereotypical. <laughs> They had uh, <laughs> red beans. Are right. No, no. Cornbread. No, I had uh, <laughs> I had uh, what are the fucking breakfast sandwiches? The fucking the uh, um <laughs> the named after the guy the egg and the egg and cheese breakfast sandwiches that are frozen. You can eat them. It's like uh, I don't know whatever like, whatever the fuck. Yeah, all right. Stop pretending. You know what it is. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> it's like not Jimmy John's, but whatever. Jimmy Dean. Jimmy Dean. There you go. Yeah, Jimmy Dean. Oh, my Jimmy tattoo of Jimmy Dean. <laughs> 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 oh man, do you ever think it'd be you know it'd be fun to do? Would um <laughs> would you if we had the money, would you want to go to a tattoo shop and get like you pick out a tattoo for me, I pick out a tattoo for yes. you and we can't tell But like, mine would just be fat like mine would be like a fat shame like related like <laughs> no, thing. It like it's a it's a grilled cheese but it like says you're like a faggot on it. <laughs> <laughs> It's a grilled cheese, but it's hanging itself. Yeah, and it's it, it gives me forty dollars. <laughs> yeah, I get a four. I make them tattoo a forty dollar bill. On you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'd be really funny. <laughs> forty dollar bill. <laughs> I'm like, wait, they can you can get like one and a half things. <laughs> yeah, forty dollars is enough to do one and a half things. <laughs> is that what we talk? Yeah, yeah I think so. One and a half things. So you can get somewhere, and then then like you got to figure it out. And then you get, and then you got to improvise. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Um, but yeah. Oh my god, did I tell you I went to the uh, bar in my hometown? No. Which I never do. I don't like to drink in my hometown because I don't want to see people I know. Okay. So my buddy Isaac was like, hey, let's go get drinks. So I was like, okay. So we went to this place called the Ivy. <clears throat> <clears throat> and uh, it's just always littered with like people from my life. And so I'm sitting there having a beer and this guy comes up. This dude who like... Like, like this. Well, the, my only memory of him from high school is I was walking down the hallway one day, and he was walking down the other way, and he went to like fake like sock me. It was in high school. Yeah. Okay. He like fucking went to like like he went like he was gonna sock me, and I uh-huh. fucking like was like, and I just that's my only memory of him uh-huh. ever. And so he like comes up to me at the bar, and he's like, "Yo, man, I've been watching your stuff on Instagram," mm-hmm. and I'm like, "Okay." Like, I have nothing to say to this now. guy. Like, my only memory of him is him, like, going to punch me. Fake punching you, yeah. Yeah. So, I'm like, my buddy Isaac's, like, talking to him or whatever, and he's like, he's like, I've been trying this new thing at the bar. It's kind of funny. You might like it. Um, He's like, I go up to people, and I'm like, I can't afford my tab. Can you help me? That's hilarious. And he did it to, like, nine different people. I was like, I don't think he's kidding, actually. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's trying to not look sad. Yeah, he reckon, yeah. He's like, oh, fuck, this guy knows me. Um, Yeah, then I go outside with a sign. It was I, really great. It was money. really great watching him, like, pretend, but also like not, not pretend. Yeah, because if somebody says, sure, is he going to say, ah, just kidding? No, I No, think absolutely so. not. Um, like, which is really me. great, because I was like, well, you went to fake punch me, and then I'm not going to buy you beer, and then... <laughs> I'm going to watch you try to get other people to buy your beers, and that's it felt good. I was like, okay, he's right where I want him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's right where I want him. So we're dating. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> he's right where I want him. He's about as... I couldn't hate him more. I think I love him. I think I'm, I'm in love. I think this I'm This guy has love. no money, and he tried to hit me. <laughs> yeah. He's my um, Prince Charming. <laughs> yeah, I love him. I love him. No, but I did start. I did start uh, uh, seeing some other dude. Oh, uh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, did you? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but literally fast forward to two episodes, and I'm like, you're like, yeah, some old head texted me. And yeah, blah. yeah. You're starting to see another dude, which do- doesn't mean you're done with old head. The second he texts you something like, I saw an apple, and it reminded yeah. me of. <laughs> I saw. <laughs> I'm like, I cut it out. I saw an apple, and the redness reminded me of the sky when we like are like kissing. And, <laughs> and even though I don't fucking love you, I wanted to send you this long message about like mm-hmm. how gay I am mm-hmm. and how I also have no money because I'm an author, <laughs> which is somehow sadder than being unemployed. <laughs> so, oh, I can't I, wait is anyone else hard? <laughs> is anyone else hard? Like, right fine, now? I'll pull it out. Yeah, no, I'll show who's you. This new, who's this uh, new guy? Uh, it's fucking, he's a, he's a nice guy. It's like it's a picture of my dad. I'm waiting for this bit. To be like, I'm, I'm gonna beat you. I'm banging it. your dead dad. <laughs> that'd be that'd be banging so Rob's funny. Dad. I'm I'm seeing this new guy. You show me it's a picture of my dad. Uh, banging Rob's dead dad. Yeah. 
I'm bagging Rob's dad, dad. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Who's the new guy? Is it gonna? It's like, let me guess. It's like a McChicken. I'm trying to figure out like what joke he's gonna do. Yeah, I'm seeing somebody new. It's literally like a McChicken. I uh, just want to make sure you heard that because you didn't laugh. Um, <laughs> he's like a McChicken. It's like no, uh, it's just some dude with rib tattoos. Oh, really? Some landscaper from fucking Havertown. Let me see. Here you go. Oh, he's got a <laughs> he has got a nice piece. <laughs> he's got a piece. Yeah, nice. Not bad. Not the biggest you've shown me. No, but, it's not. It's great. It's, it looks, a, it's a perfect. It it's a medium. It's yeah. a medium size yeah which is the best by the mm. way because you're not i have rib tattoos too so yeah well, well like <laughs> mick rib tattoos what is, uh, okay <laughs> mick rib tattoos that's that's one for the contender we got gay passport mick rib tattoos <laughs> what are we gonna name this episode this is gonna be a tough one what is it i saw cursive on his fucking ribs what was it it was like and shepherds we shall be for thee my lord for thee power hath i don't know he's <laughs> you know? hot though zoom in i want to try to read it Oh, I can't fucking. It's filmed see. It's on annoying. a potato. It's annoying. Whatever it is, mm-hmm. ask. I think I have annoying tattoos, but anytime you have cursive on your ribs, mm-hmm. oh, I, total, I, total, like. Oh, zoom in. I can, that might be able to see that one. Total. Wi- I'm just trying to see his dick. Oh, like total you, wigger. No, you can't see it. It's yeah. cur- I can't read cursive. So it's a new guy you're seeing, huh? <laughs> it's not like that. It's casual. Oh, okay. It's just. It's just a pipe <laughs> down. Annoying tattoos in the mirror selfie, and you won't text me. Is it casual now? <laughs> yeah. Work boots, and they smell like dog shit, and I put it in my mouth. <laughs> Is it casual? Is it now? casual now? Yeah, now he's like uh, he's like this short wigger fucking landscaper dude. It's pretty okay. cool. Yeah. Nice. Sounds like a catch. Pretty sick. Sounds yeah. like a. Sounds like a. You know, you know me. Love a rebound. <laughs> love a good rebound. Off the glass with this one. Is it a rebound if you were never together in the first place? Yes. Yes. Because <laughs> yes. in my head, because <laughs> in my head, I was together with like four different people. I've been with like four different people at once. Oh man. <clears throat> um, I don't. Th- I'm not sure if we've talked about this too much on the podcast. Soon, if you're near Delaware, I'm having a 30th birthday roast, November 15th. <laughs> Because uh, I've been writing jokes for you, I'm really excited. You've been writing <laughs> jokes for me. Apparently, you've been sending it out to people. I've been sending them out, getting feelers. <laughs> um, keep an eye out. I'm gonna be announcing it on my Instagram soon. Uh, the third- roast of Rob Stamp. I, I love nothing. I, there's nothing I love more than doing a roast of somebody not famous. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No. Actually, I'm like, you should see me in a mall. All right. I a couple people look at me like, is that the fucking? Is that, is that the flasher? Is that the, um, <laughs> that's the that's is the, that the flasher from the Observe and Report? Wait a minute. Are you the, are you the fucking? <laughs> You're the guy who shot Trump, right? <laughs> I thought they got you. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Trump on Rogan. How about that? Yeah, 24 million views in a I day. haven't watched it yet, so... I watched 30 I minutes. came home. Every time Joe Rogan says something, he counters with, yeah, so I... Uh, yeah, he asked him about something about Washington, and Trump goes, so we're driving down Pennsylvania Avenue, and we're driving past that building I built. Very beautiful. So beautiful. The most beautiful. <laughs> Sold it to the Waldorf Astoria. Love that place. Beautiful. Absolutely. Yeah. Just stunning. Gorgeous. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I can't listen to him, like, describe <laughs> stuff because it's just, everything's beautiful and wonderful and gorgeous. <laughs> Fabulous. I, people are mad that he's, like, he keeps in, uh, intentionally mispronouncing uh, Kamala's name. Kamala. 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 Caramel. He were like, he's saying her name wrong. I'm like, first of all, who cares? Who gives a fuck? She, she used care. to come out and be like, Donald. Donald. Donald Trump. Yeah. <laughs> Donald Trump. I don't know. He's going to win. It's you see fun. the video where she goes, uh, <laughs> she goes, um, she goes, what city are we in? You can hear her on the mic. She goes, Cle-, it goes Cleveland. She goes, Cleveland. She had no idea where she Cleveland. Is. Yeah, she's just a robot, too. She's a 60 year old woman. They have terrible memories. Yeah. It's pretty. It's pretty great. I think about how bad my parents' memory were in their forties and fifties. I think Kamala's uh, Kamala's hot though. She is hot. She's really. But hot. in like a like a like I don't even know what I would do with her type of way. Yeah. Like, like I feel like she's not. I feel like she's not bendy. She's not like it's very like everything's on her terms. Mm. She's a she's a power hungry sociopath. You know. I think what it'd I mean? be cool to have a hot to have a hot president. It's a shame we're not gonna. Obama was hot. Oh yeah, he was. That's true. He was handsome. Yeah, he was. He was, he was, he was, he was dapper. Hot. I would say he's dapper. He was dapper. Yeah, he was uppity. Yeah. Um. Okay. So you have a crush on Obama? Yeah. Okay. I'm like, oh, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, balls, my. <laughs> Bercock. Oh, balls, my. I don't know. Bercock. Oh, balls, my. <laughs> 
Oh man, <laughs> that's. A good I don't one. know. I don't know. I'm grasping at straws. <laughs> um, I think Trump's gonna win. Whether or not you <laughs> are excited about that fact or not, I'm. I don't care about either candidate. Really. I don't want him. I, I don't want him home. to win because it's gonna put a fucking dynamite stick in my gay ass. I came home to. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. JD Vance. He's gonna. JD Vance looks like he is like yeah. He look. He might be the gayest guy I've ever seen. JD Vance literally. Sound- JD Vance. There's definitely a video of him wearing a dog cone, getting it filled with semen. You know what I mean? JD Vance. It sounds like a fucking like clothing line. What oh. is that? Oh, it's J.D. Vance. Oh, they those hate are, yeah, gays. Pants by Vance. <laughs> oh, oh, this is J.D. Vance. Yeah, they literally torture gays. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's J.D. Vance. Um, but J.D. My, Vance looks like he would spray cologne in a rabbit's eye. <laughs> 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 That's funny. I came home to my mom. Uh, she's like, guess what I'm watching? I was like, what? She's like, Joe Rogan. Porn. She goes, Joe Rogan. I was like, okay. And she goes, you want to know why? I was like... <sighs> Like, who's on? I knew it. I was. She was like Trump. I was like, okay. She's like, you know, I'm just saying you should watch it. I'm like, I don't care. You can't oh, care. I don't care. Because my wife, uh, she's like pro Kamala, um, and my mom and her mom are both like Trump Trumpers. Because mm-hmm. they, I don't know why. Then he wants to take away her pussy. He wants to like lock her pussy up, and like <laughs> he only has the key. <laughs> right, like, you're like, like, but so I get the if I can get the key too, then we're good. <laughs> um, and they're both, yeah. My mom's like, literally take away my rights. Oh my god, I think my mom has like a crush on. I'm like, if you want to fuck him, that's fine. Don't vote for him. Yeah, uh, I don't care. By the way, I don't care who you vote for. <laughs> your mom's. That's like, how I get out of everything. Mom has a crush on Trump. It's yeah. so funny. It's like, she's like, he's he's. I'm like, you're like, what? He looks like shit. Like, what the fuck? No, oh, it's fine. Um, he's powerful. My but so my wife. I'm not voting. I'm just. I'm staying. You better out of vote. It. I'm not. You better fucking use exercise your right. Yeah, I'm gonna vote for. I'm voting third party. Putting uh, putting <laughs> third Haram, party Harambe on the slip. Oh yeah. I think Harambe gets Harambe like, gets two thousand votes every year. That's so crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a wild statistic. <laughs> <laughs> Harambe literally gets votes. Thousands. Every, thousands of votes. Thousands of people go to the polls and vote dead for Harambe. Dead gorilla? <laughs> <laughs> people use their right to vote to vote for a dead gorilla <laughs> over these two people. And they do it every election <laughs> since he died. Yeah, it's pretty solid. But then what's funny is when you see people complaining, like, literally, like, you could have made a difference, but you didn't. Shut Pe- up. People get so mad about people voting third party for that reason. Yeah. Um... Well, the two-party system doesn't work because they're all owned by billionaires. Yeah. Jim Gillespie, extremely woke. <laughs> Nobody's got their finger on the pulse more than me. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, I'm not voting. <laughs> I'm going to vote because who cares? And my dead mom's going to vote, too. Yeah. Because <laughs> nice. we're liberals, and that's how it works. Hell, yeah. Yeah, you got to fucking stuff those ballots. I, mail, I mailed hers in already. Did you? Mm-hmm, my dead mom. Nice. She's voting. She's in. <laughs> cool. She loves politics. <laughs> big fan of politics. It, it's so one much. Of the, one of the biggest. One of the biggest. The biggest gave, fans. Gave her a heart attack. <laughs> um. Anyway, so now that we're now that we're a political podcast. <laughs> yeah. This is what you. This is what you get. Lock, lock the border up. What's on your mind, man? What are you looking forward to? Dude, I'm just looking forward to Cleveland. Oh at yeah, this it's point. gonna be fun. November seventh. Come yeah. out. We're going to be doing stand-up, me and Jim, Cleveland, Ohio, and a live podcast recording. Gulp. <coughs> Got to figure out that's gonna, how that's going to... How's that going to work? Never done that before. We've never done and that before. do and they have equipment ready? Yes. And does anyone care? And, <laughs> and will anyone be there? Yeah. Does anyone give a fuck? Does anyone give a fuck? The musical. <laughs> Rob and Jim in an empty... Well, it wouldn't be any different than this because technically we're in an empty room right now. It's just me and you. True, but it is going to be different. Yeah, it's true. Because there's going to be other people. Because, yeah, because the only thing worse than doing a podcast in a room full of no people is doing a podcast in a room full of one person. You a know? room full of no people when there could be people. Yeah. Like, you couldn't... That's true. There's There could be no people here. There's, like, no, like, room for, like, empty chairs. You know? Mm-hmm. I guess. Oh, by the way, P.O. Box, uh, I was going to go there today and check for mail. It's Sunday, so I couldn't. Um, but I really hope we have a big pile of stuff when I go to check it next week. Please send us stuff. The P.O. Box is in the description. I would like I would like some things. Just literally a drawing, a letter. It doesn't have to be... You don't have to spend a ton of money on a package. Literally send us a letter. 
put anything in the letter. Not but that, but you have to be an adult. It can't be liquids, and uh, if it is teeth, it has to be an adult's teeth too. Whatever rules we had before. I don't remember that rule. Okay. I'm waiting till the. I wonder how long do you think it's going to be till they, the teeth turn to dust. No, they they won't. They'll no. just be like that. Think so? Yeah, it's their final form. Okay. Until I eat them. <laughs> you going out for Halloween at all? No. 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 <clears throat> Oh, I start. Me and Britt started trying for kids. Really? Yeah, I dumped in her. Whoa, how was Unprotected. that? Unprotected. It was fine. I've been I'm, I've been dumping her in her for uh for like you know years now, but like protected. Mm-hmm. It was I don't know, dude. Honestly, it took me longer to come. Dumping I, in her is hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, oh my god! Speaking of dump, I'll be right back. Really? I'm gonna shit my fucking pants. Okay. I'll be right back. Are you all right? Yeah. But I have to go. Okay. Are you going going upstairs or? No, I'm gonna go in the drum set. Okay. <laughs> Um. So yeah, Jim. Uh, Jim had to leave. Uh, he had to go to it for an emergency poop. So man, this is uh. I'll be honest with you guys. This is uh. This is awkward. There's a reason why my solo podcast never took off. Also, because I only did three episodes of it. This is what's gonna be like when Jim dies. Eventually, this is like it's gonna be like. Hey everybody, welcome to. One in the stink. Um, did it get brighter in this room? Oh no, that's just my camera. Okay, my camera. For, my camera is uh, broken now, so the display screen keeps flickering. And I thought Jim left and the room got brighter. Um, I mean, intelligence-wise, it did. But anyway, um, how how are you guys doing? Let me know in the comments. Um, I really, I really love the the the. The, the bits where you guys are like, we love you, Jim. Also, hi, Rob. Those never get old. Um, that's really, really funny bits every time, guys. Doesn't hurt my feelings at all. So, yeah, really love that. Keep that coming. Uh, I love when you guys send fan mail and you write, oh, hey, 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 just, oh, we love you, Jim. Rob, what's up? That's really cute. I get it. It's an ongoing bit. We, you know, you guys... Our fans, so you keep doing it. Is Jim texting me right now? Dude, check him out my ass. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not gonna say Jim can say what he said. <laughs> Jim can Jim sent me a text that he can he can he can read it when he gets here. <laughs> Jim is sending me live text as he poops. I've by the way, I've never seen Jim get up that fast <laughs> shit. That was insane. I hope he's okay. I really do. <laughs> I hope he's all right. Poor guy. So it's we were at Wawa, and I was like, "Yeah, dude, you know, if you want something, grab it. I got you." And uh, he picked up a fucking turkey, whatever sizzly, and he's like, "Dude, I really shouldn't. This thing's gonna make me shit." And he was like, "But it's turkey, so it'll be fine." And I guess it wasn't. It's not fine because look, look at him now. Um, but anyway, um, I was gonna say, oh yeah, so come see me and Jim in Cleveland. Um, I don't really have any other dates to promote besides New York in January. And also, in my link tree, you can tell me what city to come to next. So make sure you do that, because that'll be, uh, I am going to be adding more, more dates here soon. I just heard the toilet flush, which means Jim will be here any minute. So don't worry, guys. We're getting through this together. And, um, get out there and vote. I'll say that. I'm not voting, because I don't want to. Um, but you guys should. <sighs> what else is new? What else is new with me? Okay, I started trying for a kid. I was talking to Jim about that. Um, I guess I'll give you guys a little bit of an insight. Start dumping in my wife. And, uh, you know, guys, it's great every time. Every time it's great. It's a little bit scarier when you do it unprotected, because the whole time in your head you're like, oh, man, I'm about to create a child. Should I do that? Should I create a child? I have I have teeth in my basement. I have teeth and hair in my basement. And uh should I have it, you know? It's like that thought was like coming through my head as I was about to bust. I was like, I have I'm about to bring a a a baby into this world. I'm not sure how smart of an idea that is. Hey, you're back. I've been killing it, dude. It hasn't been stressful at all trying to keep this alive. So, <laughs> dude, you fucking you really had to shit, huh? I shouldn't here, let me tell you. <laughs> I shouldn't have. I I knew what I did. I I did a fatal flaw. I ate a sizzly. I, I was just telling him. I said you you called it in the Wawa. 
Um, yeah. You said, speaking of dumping, and you got up. <laughs> you want to read that text you sent me or no? <laughs> I, I said... I don't, said don't I said it. shit came out of my ass like a fucking lo- Foot Locker getting looted, dude. It was crazy. <laughs> um, but uh, the text I sent might have been more colorful. <laughs> but uh, the, uh, so anyway, we're, um, I <laughs> I never see you move so fast. Mm-hmm. I was like, man, if only he like. If only he did move <laughs> if only that he had this shit all the time. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you really you got he moved like the wind. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, I was talking about dumping in my wife. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. I'm proud of you. <laughs> yeah, I've been dumping in her. Um, mm-hmm. It was, dude. It took me longer to come because I was like, in my head, I'm like, I'm about to create a child. Is this? It was like scary. It was taking me longer to come. I was like, oh man. Ew, this might like this might <laughs> suck. What if this, this might sucks? ends in crying and poop? Yeah, oh, man, and not from me. <laughs> yeah, this might suck. Yeah, I did. So I, I, so I dumped in her right, and then I got up and I said, "Well, I did. I did. I gave her one of these. I went. It's been nice knowing you. I saluted her, <laughs> and that. So I, <laughs> she's literally laying there full of cum, and you're like, <laughs> yeah, I gave her a salute. So I'm glad you could do, get a bit out of it. Yeah, I told. I was like, I was like, look, if you call me and it goes to voicemail, don't panic. It's just the way my phone is right now. Uh, yeah, also, the way my like, credit card is set up. Yeah, I was like, look, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go get some milk. And uh, do you need anything? Do you need like, you need to go grab something for you? You need to like walk near these stairs. I went down. <laughs> <laughs> I went downstairs and I called her. I was like, look, I think we were, we were better off as friends. And she was. <laughs> like, I called her. I was like, I'm just, like, She's like you're right. Yeah. You're like, but you're kidding. I'm waiting for any like. I'm waiting to get like hit by a bus any day now because like I feel like. The last thing I was made to do was, like, put a baby in her. And now it's like, all right, well, Rob can die. Mission complete. Mission complete. Life complete. hmm Yeah, hopefully my kid doesn't suck. Because, like, kids, like... That's kids, up to you, man. Well, I mean, sometimes you raise kids right and they still grow up and suck, you know? True. Like, but, they suck as an adult, you know? Well, you don't suck. Thanks. Well, I wasn't. I wasn't using me as an example. Well, if I mean, if... I if, wasn't using me if as one an of, example. If one of the two of you was going to be the reason it sucked, people would assume it would be... Oh, uh, you think so? Yeah, because she's just, you know, Brit's like... But sometimes both parents rule and the kid grows up and sucks. Well, that's that. you can't have that. You can't have two parents that rule. Okay. So One has to be an authoritarian and the other has to be the voice of reason. I know. What do you think? Do you think Hitler had cool parents? Yeah, probably. They Well, he was... He had a life that was good enough that he thought he could pursue art. Uh, okay. So think about the life that he probably did lead. That's true. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Do you think if his art, if, like, people really appreciated his art more, he wouldn't have, like, started a Holocaust? Do you think if, like, his art got more I think he was a super smart dude who... Hang on, let me get this in quotes. Jim Gillespie, Adolf Hitler was a super smart dude. Continue. This is true. (laughs) These are true things. These are things Uh that are true without having a bias. Right. Um... I think he understood that in those times that he could convince a lot of people to do things. Right. Because there wasn't... There wasn't Twitter. <laughs> exactly. There wasn't Twitter. He literally was like, well, there's no Twitter. Yeah, there's no fucking... <laughs> so I think I think he was aware of the times he was living in, which is... There was right. nobody on TikTok like, I know we've all been following this Adolf Hitler guy, but I just want to say, don't you think it's a little bit weird that he wants to kill all of the Jews? Hitler 2012. Hitler 2012. Yeah. Yeah. No, because um, Hitler exists now. He does. It's crazy. Yeah, because people wear like... Nazi gear. Yeah, it's fucking wild. They go under a new name now. I think it's like different though. It's called like Barstool. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's good stuff. Good stuff right there. <laughs> They're under like a new moniker now. You think it's called Barstool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which is German for fuck kikes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> One kill. Everybody knows the rules. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he literally lights a Jewish guy on fire. He's like, mm, I give that like a six nine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, seven out of ten. <laughs> seven point oh. Seven. Seven point mm, three. He, I love how that fucking douchebag piece of shit fucking retard takes a bite of a slice of pizza and goes, mm, I'm gonna give it like a seven point three. <laughs> and people are like, seven three. Too low in the comments. Seven three. That's too low. <laughs> like an mil- actual retard. Like <laughs> he's a millionaire. It's me in the fucking comments. Like that too damn low. <laughs> I too damn low, boy. I want T burger nail. Oh, the name. 
great every time. <laughs> they never told. <laughs> I'm like you, but you know. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> you do it just you do it the minimum amount of, of the syllables mm-hmm. or whatever, like pronunciation. Mm-hmm. It's an art. <laughs> it's an art. It is an art. I want a T-burger knee. I want a T-burger knee. <laughs> so good. Yeah, I, I feel like a knee. toddler when you're jiggling keys. It's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so good. Rob's in a bad mood. I know how to get him. <laughs> yeah, dude. I almost had to Where say- Where were you when my dad died? <laughs> I want a T-burger knee. I was hanging out with my alive mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That came back to bite me, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's what you get. I told you about the night my mom died, right? I was there. No, no, oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. The night that she... Uh, uh, so the night that she had the heart attack. The second time she died. Yeah, the first the first time she died. Mm-hmm. Um, the first time she died. Uh, I was at a black show. I was, like, killing at a black show. Mm-hmm. And, like, I, I waited around to meet the people after because mm-hmm. I, I wanted attaboys. And... Uh, was this when she was in the hospital, or was this when... You- so the night... Okay, so like b- night she before dropped. you picked me up oh, from Fergie's, okay. I was at a show. Oh, okay, yeah, I yeah. I was doing Alan Massenburg's show, and I I fucking was waiting around after the show to meet people. Yeah. and You uh, killed, but you didn't know how far you killed. I killed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I killed my mom. Um. So, yeah, so I was waiting around to meet with the people after the show, and mm-hmm. like our buddy Kyle Reagan wanted to leave. Like, yeah. He was like, let's get out of here, and I was like, oh, I just want to fucking talk to these people, mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. And uh, boy, did I pay. I made Kyle wait around to get my attaboys, but man, did I pay for it later yeah. on that night. We went to Fergie's. I literally walked into Fergie's, walked upstairs, got a phone call, and yeah. then that was it. Yeah, <laughs> so that. fucking, fucking crazy. Yeah. Um, and then I never did a show again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Never performed again. Didn't want to kill my dad. It's what happens when you do black shows. I've been trying to tell you. Your mm-hmm. mom dies. It's because God is angry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. God is ang- God is angry. Um, he's so mad. He's so angry with me that he made the Rizzler famous. <laughs> the Rizzler is famous. I feel like the Rizzler and AJ and Big Justice are like God, like taunting me. <laughs> Still bringing it. <laughs> Still bringing it. Double chunk chocolate cookie. And everybody wants to fuck their fourteen-year-old in the family, and nobody cares. No one cares. I go on TikTok. It's like Ashley can get it. And all the comments are like... It's like a truck selfie, dude. She's 14. And people are like, so? I'm like, care. no. And it's got like 400 likes. I'm like, <laughs> people are just cool with this now. Yeah. yeah. So? <laughs> yeah. Ashley can get it. So? <laughs> Cares. I saw I saw something funny. It was... um, Somebody was like... He was doing like a and a And somebody was like, uh, Big Justice is... Uh, or what the fuck is the guy... The dad's name? Is it AJ. Big Justice? AJ. AJ, is your wife single? And he said, no, and I benched 315. I was like, yeah, you tell him, AJ. <laughs> you tell him. Honestly, you know what I, you know my, my. You're the jizzler, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the jizzler? All right. Yeah. If, that, if we didn't have to worry about this video getting less views on YouTube, that would be the name. <laughs> the jizzler. <laughs> That's you now that you're coming in your wife, you're the jizzler. <laughs> <laughs> it's just you with a big fucking Knicks jersey on, like, yeah. <laughs> I come in my wife. Yeah. <laughs> I'm giving her my double chunk chocolate penis. <laughs> <laughs> double chunk chocolate penis. <laughs> We're Costco guys. Of course we dump in our wife, unprotected. <laughs> My buddy John and I were talking about uh, like <laughs> when when those two finally go to jail. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. When those two finally get locked up, <laughs> we're GW Hill guys. <laughs> of course we get fucked up the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Still bringing it. I uh, you know what I my, you know what I honestly think about this that that whole thing. You love it. I think it's great. I do I because because this guy you scroll through his TikTok and he's been trying to be famous for years. Yeah, I watched, fi- I watched and he finally did it. And not only that, he found a way to do it. While being with his family, he brought his whole family into it, right? It's an American f- story. It's honestly awesome. I think it's great. Good good for him. And you look back and you see his early videos. He was doing like vlogs and stuff where he's like playing with his kids. He's like, I love this little guy right here. We bring the boom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, I think it's the great. worst thing ever. I think it's a shame that everybody's trying to fuck his 14-year-old daughter, but... I think that's a shame, too. I think, but it's... I think it's, it's a shame that so is he. It's like 10% funny that people are like, so... <laughs> like yeah. she's fourteen. People hate so. them both so much. They're like, I don't care. <laughs> We're Costco guys. <laughs> yeah, it's it's so funny when like with like stand up and like people who are like trying to get into acting and all this shit. Um, you can like work your ass off for like twelve years and never make it, and then 
somebody is like, all you got to do is give that hawk to and spit on that thing. And they're like, this is a genius. Get her. And then somebody's like, double chunk chocolate cookie. And then fucking they go crazy. My buddy TJ was mobilized by AJ and Big Justice. <laughs> yeah. He like... He listened to their videos and fucking went to Costco and bought that shit. Oh, really? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, I was like... He, Don't might, be, like, he might actually be retarded. I was like, that, you're a retard. <laughs> you, they're, you, I just... Basically, what you're telling me is propaganda works on you. I, uh, I You know what's funny? I, I photoshopped uh, um, Costco guys on Helium's website, and I, I put on my Instagram, really excited to open for these guys, and everybody was like, really? Which well, just goes to tell you where comedy is right now. Mm-hmm. Where it's like if you can wait, wait. Well, if you can put two hundred thirty people, oh, I people broke in my room, phone. If you can, when put, you sent me that, I broke my phone. <laughs> when you can put two hundred thirty people in a room, sure, you can do comedy, whatever. Mm-hmm. That's where we're at. Yep. You get the hawk to a girl up there. Who wants their thing spat on? <laughs> me. It should just be a bunch of dudes waving their fucking thing. Oh uh, yeah, fucking spit on it, millionaire. Mm. Spit on it. Oh my god. I'm giving it. This is the walk to a tour. This is the talk to um the talk to a podcast. I love the videos of dudes sitting in a room, like twenty dudes They're watching, watching her yeah. podcast, laughing their asses <laughs> off, like hysterically. Yeah, and it's funny because it's like. They're mocking her, but it only makes her more powerful in the end. Yeah, she's. And I also heard that she's not that bad of a person. Really, I saw a video. I of heard her. that. I heard that all the money she makes, she gives away. That's really nice. I also saw that she was a super senior though in high What's school. What's that mean? Oh, yeah. really? I saw a video of her, like it was like an early video of her, and it was like, damn, she was a super senior. Mm-hmm. Stupid. That's stupid spit. <laughs> that's dummy spit. Yeah, but it's probably the best kind. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's sweet because all she eats is pop rocks and, <laughs> and boogers. I don't want smart spit on my wiener. No, that's the that's worst. That's why I, I, I tell Brit. It tastes like black coffee. I tell smart Brit. Smart spit tastes like coffee. It tastes like, like black coffee and stress. And books. Yeah. It's like, ah, oh, come on. <laughs> book bindings. Why, yeah, don't spit page 90 on my dick. Ugh. I've been reading a book. <laughs> sure. I've been reading. I've been reading. Uh, <laughs> Rob, the back of the protein powder does not count as a book. <laughs> well, at least it's protein. You could have said anything else. Um, no, I'm, I've been reading. I've been reading David Goggins. Can I try that joke again with something yeah, meaner? Yeah, go for it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're like the safety instructions on the ladder don't count. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so our buddy Trevor mm-hmm. started a gutter cleaning business. Okay. He- it. When did he get you out of it? <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Yeah, so I had him pull a bunch of leaves out of my gutter. Mm-hmm. Um But he was uh he, he was like he was like, Hey, like I uh he was like he was like, I'll come clean your gutters for free. You thought that was like a gay thing. I knew it was a gay thing. I <laughs> I knew I was <laughs> sure it was a gay yeah. thing. So I'm like I'm like getting ready. He shows up with my house with a ladder. I was like, Well, I know you're tall, but like not I don't think I need a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> So he's like, he's putting a ladder on my roof. Like the whole time I'm like laughing my ass off. I'm yeah. like, why is this fucking retard on my roof right yeah, now? Yeah, cleaning your gutters. Yeah, I'm like, this is supposed to be like, he's You're gonna his whole arm up my ass. That's what's supposed <laughs> yeah. to happen. Um, but like, so he's like setting up the ladder and he drops the fucking ladder onto his head. Like oh, all, right no. on top of his head. I said one thing to him. I was like, look, just don't get fucking injured at my house. Uh-huh. First thing he did was literally get hurt. <laughs> I was like, oh my fuck. Fucking God. Was he like bleeding or anything? Or I think he had a concussion, honestly. Oh my God. <laughs> it was so that fucking sucks. crazy. Damn. So like, Maybe I, now he'll fuck me. I was like, are you... Like, oh no, so you hit your head on the ladder. I don't know if you remember this or not. We're married. Yeah. And we have a family. <laughs> you've, been, you've been unconscious for a while. Yeah. I'm your husband. Mm-hmm. And this is our house. Mm-hmm. And you're cleaning our gutters. Well, and you love me. I didn't mind like having him like doing work on my house, mm-hmm. but like having to squeeze into a maid outfit and make <laughs> lemonade, I was kind of annoying. Yeah, you, yeah, you were in a minute maid outfit. <laughs> <laughs> just wearing a carton, <laughs> just, <laughs> leg holes. <laughs> just you when you spill minute maid on you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It was funny. I'm so t- I, I get credit for that. It's it was good. good. It was good. You've been sweating on Call of Duty, you tell me. Yeah, I've been playing the new Call of Duty because they put it on Game Pass for the first time. Okay. So they put the new game on the free thing. <laughs> I was like, whoa! <laughs> whoa, whoa! I'm going to play that. I'm a lucky man! 
<laughs> I'm gonna call of duty right now. I'll play now. <laughs> I play Simmy right now. I'm gonna call of duty right now. <laughs> I, wanna, I wanna play Call of Duty right now. Mm-hmm. So I I've been playing Call of Duty. I've been getting very good. Okay. Which means that I need a job. Yeah, uh, yeah. My balls <laughs> to high heaven. <laughs> How's Call of Duty been going? I'm like, brother, smell, smell my balls. My balls. <laughs> brother, you should smell my balls. <laughs> Uh, what was yeah. that? What did I say? Oh, when Mike Rainey asked you if you like wrestling. Oh, yeah. He goes, yeah. Jim, do you like wrestling? And he goes, do I like wrestling? <laughs> Brother, you should smell my balls. <laughs> I, mean, like, I saw him laugh and then like like get a megaphone and like laugh. Into the- <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hang on, I'm not laughing hard enough. And he fucking... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Shout out to my uh, my buddy, Mike Falls. He came out to my show last night. Always a good friend. Always a good supporter. Um, he was in the front row. And I was I was bombing on the late show last night pretty bad, and uh, so I was really yeah. But uh, somebody was doing crowd work on him. I heard them doing crowd work. And they're like, "What do you do for work?" And he's like, "Oh, I drive for Uber." And I went on stage and <laughs> I said, uh, "I said this guy drives for Uber." And if you think that's fucking sad, he was a groomsman at my wedding, <laughs> and he was the only one who laughed. <laughs> and I was like, "Okay, that's it." As long as I made him laugh, that's all Oy I care vey. about. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, I was kind of eating it on the late show. All my jokes that worked on the early show did nothing. The late show mm-hmm. sucked. So, mm-hmm. But it was uh, overall good night. Because I got to see my buddy Mike. I got to do comedy. He's That's a, cool. He's a supporter of the Patreon. Oh, man, he's the best. One I love him. One I, one wish, one. I wish he would DM me more. He doesn't send me enough DMs. He said he was going to call you at 8.30 this morning. Why? Because I... Cause I so we're leaving the bar. And he, he and Mike, like he's very much like me when he starts drinking. He never wants the fun to end. I wasn't drinking and I was tired and I wanted to go. Oh, home. is that what you guys call it? You know, the fun to have? Yeah, yeah. Where you both stop talking and go, uh, <laughs> No. Is there any more beers in there? <laughs> <laughs> no, so we were leaving and Mike's like, Oh, we're just oh, we're just going home now. Oh great, we're just going home, huh? And I was like, Yeah, dude, it's fucking eleven and I have to be up at nine and do the podcast with Jim. And he, you would have thought I did the funniest. He was like, he's like, Jim's going to get up at nine. I was like, yeah, he can wake up early. He's like, dude, there's no way. Mm-hmm. He didn't believe it. Yeah. I, Here we are. Listen, what's funny is you don't have to get up when you never sleep. <laughs> <laughs> what time were you up till last night? Like seven. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't even sleep. Oh, wow. So after the Eagles game today, then I will rest. <laughs> <laughs> after football. Then after football, he will reach his rest. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, so my parlay hit the last game. That's fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. I had, uh, I had. Uh, I don't want a sports bet. First. I don't I want had... a sports bet because I will put the little money I have into it. <laughs> I had Eagles uh, first to score. Uh, Barkley anytime touchdown score. Nice. And money did you do line. any today? No, I didn't. You should do it today. You think so? Yeah, it's a big Eagles game today. Who are they playing? The Bengals. The Bengals. And they're away. Oh. Yeah. What's their? Uh, how are the Bengals doing? What's their? They're three and four. The Eagles are four and two. Three and four. Okay, so Eagles money line. I would say Eagles money line. Um, Hurts anytime touchdown score. Barkley, Barkley anytime touchdown score. Yeah. I don't know about first to score because that's always risky. I would say Bengals. Cause Bengals the Eagles first. haven't scored a first quarter point all season. Really, mm-hmm. but they but the, first to score in the game though. I'm right, saying. the Eagles haven't scored first all season. The, no, the last game they scored first. It wasn't in the first quarter. Okay, but they still scored first. Oh, okay, so it doesn't have to be first quarter. First score in the game. Okay. Yeah, Eagles first to score, which is always risky. I don't know what I'm doing when sports betting. I literally so I I always do like any time touchdown score. That's easy. That's easy. But I went on. But this time I was like, let me do a little bit of research. I looked up who's been crushing it in Barkley. I was like, all right. That's, oh yeah, Barkley's great. Yeah, but I put I put like fifty bucks in the game and it was like a hundred and seventy payout, which really for a three leg parlay isn't really that great. No. But it but, is. But it was. But I got it. So. But you're like, wow. But wow, it hit. <laughs> yeah, when it hit, you're like, I don't care. I'm like, Britt, I found a new job. That's what my cousin does. My cousin, I told you about that. Yeah. My cousin sports bets so much that he was able to start his own side business, and like, uh, he has other dudes run that. Well, there's like fucking uh, people have like Patreons and shit where like you subscribe to it, and they and then they give you their picks, like shit like that. And people who are That's like, That's amazing. Yeah. That is amazing. Isn't that? Yeah. I want that for me. Yeah. Isn't that people are like this is gonna like well if you subscribe to this tier these are the ones that are guaranteed to hit like shit like that. Whoa! I see people on TikTok who are like doing Whoa. yeah. There's there's like okay have you noticed like okay so do you ever notice people going live on TikTok that are just like it, it seems like they're never not on there. Like, oh they're yeah. Always live. Mm-hmm. There's this one dude and it's like there's so many like male prostitutes on like 
like Instagram and TikTok live where it's like you'll go onto their live and it's just like thank you Austin Steve thank you oh, I can't show it on here but like oh really click, yeah you can click my links and oh uh, yeah no I can't pull they it always out have a sp- they're always like he- click on my spicy Twitter it's like chili emoji Twitter it's oh like, yeah and then you go on their Twitter it's literally just them like being it's literally them like covering like it's like on 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 TikTok they can only just be in their underwear mm-hmm. and then on Twitter like they'll be grabbing their hard cock and mm-hmm. it's like go to the OnlyFans to see the whole thing oh so it's just a it's just a funnel. It's a, they're funneling you towards their Dick. OnlyFans. Yeah. And it's like, ah, oh, like but I'll just find it for free. Cause my my favorite type of TikTok lives now, it's uh, Uber drivers. I have not and seen they, these they have the uh they have the app open <laughs> and it's just them like uh like a ride will pop up and they'll be like, I don't know guys, should I take this one? Send a gift if I should accept it. Ding, 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 people ding. are like, Take it, take it and they're sending he's making money just pretending to be an Uber driver. It's like genius. <laughs> He's like, I don't know, guys. Should I take this? But the only problem is, I don't have two phones. You have to have a phone to fucking do the app. You can we'll... use my phone to make that content. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I will let you use my other phone to make that content. Yeah. Yes. You need um, to be making that content. Hey guys, know, guys, should I take this should ride? I take this ride? Yeah, take it. Put ten dollars uh, in my Venmo if you want me to take this ride. Hey guys, smash that subscribe button if I should take this ride. People doing shit like that. I want to get so here's the thing. I want to stream on Twitch, but only if everybody sends me money the entire time I'm doing it. I'm thinking about doing that soon. I think I'm going to start making curated playlists on YouTube, like because they get like tons of traction on YouTube. Yeah, it's like songs to like kill your mom to. It's like songs <laughs> to pull the plug to. <laughs> curated playlists. Have you seen those um, pages? Yeah, I've seen them. Yeah. yeah, it's like this one dude has like millions of followers, and he has a Patreon that has like. It's Boston. You know what I like? I like the stuff where it's like, um, it's like country roads take me home, but you're on a porch in the summer, and it's yeah. playing like down the street. Yeah, so, yeah. And you hear, you're like, wow, it sounds like my dad's alive. Yeah. Yeah. Almost heaven <laughs> at your campground. <laughs> Dad is drinking 17 cores lines. <laughs> Mom is angry. <laughs> Yelling at my dad. <laughs> she doesn't know that he is gonna die in eight years. <laughs> Country roads. <laughs> Take me home. <laughs> to the way. I belong. To Aston PA. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> yeah. Where the P.O. box is. Where, th- where was the town hall? Because it was in Delco. I think it was in Aston where they what did town Kamala's hall? town hall. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, I don't fucking know. I don't know. <laughs> my mom went and saw it when uh, Trump was uh, in Aston. My mom went. The first, he was here before the, the first, my mom went and saw him. Donald Trump wants to put a, he was like, a Look, dog collar they've on They've got They've got the cameras off. They won't film because they don't want, they don't want them to see. It. Look at all these people here. They, they got the 17 cameras 17 people. On. Yeah, they turned off the cameras because they don't want, I don't know. They wanted to turn off the cameras. I do love that uh, Kamala brought Megan Thee Stallion out to twerk at her rally. Did she That's really? Cool. This was this is old news, but yeah, I, I talked about this before in the podcast. Megan Thee Stallion. Megan, Megan Thee Stallion. Yeah, that's a great she joke. She said Megan Thee Stallion. Yeah, it's a great joke, and it's a. Sh- I don't know how I'm not on Jimmy Kimmel yet. Um, <laughs> it's honestly, it's honestly insulting. <laughs> yeah. 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 If I'm not on TV soon, I'm hanging it up. I'm no. Yeah. Kidding. For sure. Yeah. No. For sure. Definitely. Well, I can't. I can't be 35. If I'm 35 and like. People were like, yeah, no, no you do- can't. No, you, that's true. You can't be 35. Yeah, if I'm 35, people were like, yeah, no, I've been doing this for like six months. I got to be like, all right, I'm out of here. Mm-hmm. See ya. It's been fun. Yeah. I got to, I got to, I, yeah, I got to, I got to get big quicker. Yeah. <laughs> get on, Rob Stank, get on TV or die trying. 50 yeah. Cent. <laughs> yeah. Great book. Great book. He wrote a great self help <laughs> book. Really good. Ray, really great advice if you're 50 Cent. Yeah, it's all advice that only works if you're 50 Cent, but it's really good. Uh, I've been reading David Goggins. You know who David Goggins is? Yeah. He's a, it's some gay shit. No, he's a Navy He was. He's a Navy SEAL. That doesn't mean anything to me. Okay. It doesn't mean anything to me. You're like, Gravy SEAL? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Gravy. Yeah, well. Gravy meal? <laughs> gravy seal. Um, how about pop it open? <laughs> how about open it up? Gravy, gravy seal. How about open? How about pop it open? How about pop it open? That's good. Well, this- well, why is it sealed? Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> we're about to... Uh, Shout them out, baby. We're about to go over to our Patreon real quick, but first we want to thank our top tier supporters, Christian, Mike Falls, who we've, who we've already talked about, 
Squall, uh, Miles Schultz, Andrew Herbert, Tim Sislo, Jordan Delabo. Uh, We love you guys. Uh, We're going to go over to the Patreon here. Before we do, send us mail, please. We want to... Just now. Jim just showed me a penis. (laughs) Just Um, now from your neighborhood. (laughs) Cool, cool. Uh, (laughs) So, um, yeah, send us mail through the uh, P.O. box in the description, and please stink it forward. Send this podcast to literally anybody. And if, if, if you send it to somebody and they send it to somebody, we just keep growing. That would be fantastic. I'm doing Trump hands right now. Um, but anyway, uh, we love you guys, and we'll see you on the Patreon. Until next time, peace and love. Anything you guys say, Jim? Love y'all. See you soon. All right, see you there. <laughs>